Welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host Jerry Hansen. Hey, I'm working on my uh, water wheel project and I was trying to come up with an idea of um, a simpler water wheel. So uh, for a micro system, I have a smaller motor I could, um, permanent magnet motor I can put on this for now, but I can get a, a bigger one. But, <coughs> excuse me. This is a squirrel cage out of a fan, and uh, the the angle of the fins would uh, look like they would work perfectly inside of a uh, as a water wheel. The water will flush down through here, catch it, and spin it. And uh, I'll demonstrate it right here. I got it to work on my waterfall down here, so. Uh, here it is working. So, I'm going to go ahead and put something together. And for a bigger water wheel, I'm going to go to the junkyard and find a bigger squirrel cage unit and instead of reinventing the wheel go ahead and buy one these are these are fabulous they're already preformed they're metallic and uh, they'll be able to go right on the shaft of a axle and be able to put a uh, larger pulley on that to spin uh, a uh, get a suitable spin on one of my little 12 volt motors so we're gonna go ahead and try that. Hey, one of my subscribers gave me an idea on uh, using this. He didn't tell me exactly to use this, but he was mentioning about using these motors out of these uh, 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 furnace units uh, that I can get out of a junkyard. And I looked at this I had in my shop, and I thought, you know what? I can get this attached to a motor in a junkyard, get the motor and this, and I have a wheel and everything already uh, in place. So we're gonna try this. Uh, stay tuned for more. I'm your host Jerry Hansen. Please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and look for us on social media. We'll see you later. Mm -hmm.